And right now we are getting a look at the new logo for the 2020 Republican National Convention here in Charlotte. It was officially unveiled at an event at the Spectrum Center earlier today. We are one year away from this major convention that's expected to flood the city with thousands of people, but one topic not addressed at today's event, security. We wanted to know whether Charlotte plans to pass an ordinance in the coming months, much like it did before the 2012 DNC that gave police more authority. The defenders, Nathan Morbido, took that question to City Hall and the host committee. Nate joins us live outside CMPD. Nate. Yeah, some of you may remember the extraordinary events ordinance here in Charlotte. It was controversial. It lasted well past the Democratic National Convention. Well, today inside that building, neither the CEO of the 2020 RNC nor city officials said they're ready to address their approach this time. The whole world will be watching this wonderful city. RNC 2020, less than 13 months away. And today, there's now a logo. We will need, as we call them, rock star ambassadors, about 8,000 people. And a push for volunteers. But no guidance yet. We're going to be more than ready for what comes. As to how CMPD and the Secret Service intend to keep everyone safe. Other than a basic, we've got this. We've got the best police force that we could ask for. And not only that, they have experience in this. In the months before the 2012 DNC in Charlotte, afraid of anarchists, the city council passed the so-called Extraordinary Events Ordinance. It allowed the city to declare certain big events extraordinary. As a result, it allowed police to enforce stricter rules. Backpack and duffel bag, satchel, cooler. And banned items considered dangerous or potentially dangerous uptown. It's just identifying common sense items that don't need to be at a large public gathering. Council members repealed the law in 2017. All those in favor say aye. Aye. At the time, Chief Kerr Putney pushed for the change, saying the ordinance was overused. It's been sort of determined that we really don't need to be using it. And instead argued for security on an event-by-event -event basis, aimed more specifically toward preventing terrorism. The police department have the tools that they need to keep people safe. RNC leaders said Chief Putney is leading the way when it comes to putting together a safety plan for 2020. The police chief, God bless his soul, he's right out, he's right out of central casting. Committee member Ron Kaufman told us the city's leadership has him confident Charlotte will come off as a world-class city whose people and leaders can overcome any challenges that will pop up between now and then. And that's what it's about, putting Charlotte's face forward as a great city who's above any uh, problems today politically. So about a year away from all eyes on Charlotte, today CMPD told us the Secret Service is technically the lead agency to come up with this seamless security plan, but CMPD is working closely with the federal authorities as well as other agencies to make sure everyone is safe and secure in August 2020. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte.